How's it going you guys? So I wanted to make a quick video just talking about my thoughts on Nike's announcement today where they introduced some new shoes for its 2020 Zoom lineup. The first shoe they announced is the Alpha Fly Next Percent, which is what Kipchoge broke the two hour marathon in. The shoe has had a ton of controversy around it. People have called it mechanical doping. They said that it's an unfair advantage. And the Vapor Fly and the Alpha Fly are kind of the reasons why World Athletics implemented the brand new running shoe guidelines. So the guidelines essentially are set to even out the playing field. They say that the shoe can't be thicker than 40 millimeters. It can only have one carbon plate, as in they can't be stacked vertically. And the shoe has to be available to the public for four months before the date of the competition. So, with the Olympics coming up real soon, a lot of companies have pushed up their release dates to around this February-March timeline since it's coming close to the Summer Olympics. Nike today announced that Nike members will be able to purchase the Alpha Fly February 29th. And the Alpha Fly does comply to these rules. I believe it's 39.5 millimeters thick, has one carbon plate, it has two zoom units in the forefoot, still 100% zoom X, and it has the Atom Knit upper. So it's a very thick shoe, very cushioned, and as the records show, a very fast shoe. We don't know the pricing yet. I'd definitely be shocked if this shoe isn't more than the current $250 that the Vaporfly Next% percent costs. So for Nike's 2020 Zoom lineup, the Alpha Fly is essentially replacing the Vaporfly Next%, percent, but another new shoe was announced. This is the Tempo Next%. Percent. The Tempo Next% percent has Zoom X foam in the forefoot, and then it has two air zoom units. It doesn't have a carbon plate. It has a composite plate instead. And then it has react in the heel. So my first thoughts when seeing this shoe are, it's essentially the zoom fly version of the alpha fly. So you know, we've had the vapor fly and then there's the more affordable, cheaper version, which is the zoom fly. And in this case, we have the Alpha Fly, which you know, $275, $300 maybe. And then we have this new Tempo Next Percent, which is going to cost $200 and comes out this summer. And I think it is actually going to be replacing the current Zoom Fly and possibly even the Pegasus Turbo, which I personally would be very sad if that was true because I love the Peg Turbo. So, along with the Tempo Next Percent, they also announced the Tempo Next Percent FE which has a crazy looking upper, which I think looks like a basketball shoe. And I don't know if it's my preference to run in. I guess it depends how comfortable and how it keeps your foot locked down, but it's a little strange. It's supposed to be a more everyday trainer oriented version to the Tempo Next Percent, but I'm very curious to see what that's like in person and how it feels on foot. So three new shoes in Nike's Zoom lineup, the Alpha Fly, the Tempo Next Percent and the Tempo Next Percent FE, but Nike's also gonna be releasing the Pegasus 37 in 2020. Around the summertime, which is when the Alpha Fly and the Tempo Next Percent are supposed to be available to the public as well. The new Peg 37 will have a full length React midsole with a giant air zoom unit in the forefoot, and it's gonna look a lot like the current Zoom Fly. My speculation is that this new Pegasus 37 is going to replace kind of the current Peg Turbo and the Vimero, which I'm excited to see this new Pegasus, but I still wish they had that Peg Turbo where you can get just that extra Zoom X in it. So in this case, we'd have the Nike Pegasus 37 at around $120, and then we bump up to $200 for the Tempo Next Percent, and then 250 to 300 for the Alpha Fly Next Percent. So who knows if there will be something filling that gap in between the 120 and 200, but so far Nike Zoom lineup in 2020 looks like it will contain at least these four shoes. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to give a quick hot take on my thoughts of Nike's new shoes today and kind of what their plans are for their 2020 lineup. I'm very excited for what this year has with the Olympics and all these new shoes kind of coming out to meet that new four month deadline. So I'll keep you guys updated with more videos and as always, keep on running.